Good morning. So today it is the 23rd of July, which is my sister's birthday. And we actually decided to wake up really early this morning so that my sister could open presents with my dad before he left for work because my dad leaves for work at about 5.30. So we woke up at 5 and then we opened presents and then we did go back to bed because we stayed up till about half midnight last night. I woke up at half seven, now it's half nine, so it's been quite a while, um, and I decided to make some French toast for everyone, but since everyone's still asleep, um, they haven't eaten them yet, they're just, uh, I've put my sisters in the fridge. So what I've just done is made this list on my iPad, oh sorry, the glare is awful, um, and these are foods, it's kind of like a shopping list for university, so quite a detailed list of things that I'd like to have in when I'm at university, so obviously tinned pumpkin, some ground cinnamon, some cinnamon sticks, brown seeded bread, vegan butter, coconut oil, banana, oats, peanut or almond butter, white onion, olive oil, basically everything that I would eat. And then here is things for sometimes that I don't necessarily eat that regularly, but things that I would quite like to continue to eat, for example, they're easy and things. So for example, hazelnut milk, Popcorn, couscous, coconut flakes, that kind of thing. Amazing. <laughs> and put my contacts in and then we are off to Westfield so I will probably see you when Martha where are we? Where are we are Shui see if our only of your view is like I got some pumpkin katsu, uh, it's new and I did not realise that they did pumpkin flavoured things which of course is my favourite so how are both of your foods? Hello, so I'm in New Look and I've just bumped into Charlotte and Marion and they've just come up and said hi and they're both pretty lovely people. I'm just in Paper Chase and I was just looking at the really lovely sticky notes. I love the sticky notes that they have in Paper Chase. Um, I'm thinking of getting some but they're £3.50 to £4 so I'm not sure yet. So I've temporarily split up from my pet, from my mum and sister and I'm currently hunting out Bowdoin because I know that they've opened one in Westfield and that's what I was most excited about. So if the maps are correct it will be just up here and I think I can see it but I'm not quite sure. I'll update you when I get that. So I am currently and finally in Bowdoin, um, the store in Westfield which opened recently and they don't actually stock Johnny B here yet um, and I usually go for the Johnny B section. I found two dresses which I'm going to try on. I don't think I'd be able to get both but 
I'm going to try them on anyway and see if I like either of them. I think I prefer this one to the other one because the other one didn't fit quite right. Um, but I don't like how low cut this is. I'm not sure. I don't think I will get it because I'm not 100%. Also, I'm going to be really silly and actually see whether they have any age 12 toweling shorts because I really wanted to get them whilst I was in here. And if they have them, then I might just try them on because age 12 has fit in the past and I have got age 12 shorts from here before. It's just embarrassing asking if I can have some age 12 toweling shorts. Um, but if they're plain colour, then you can't tell it's kids anyway. It's so nice to go to the shop. So I'm actually late to meet my parents. So we need to meet Urban Outfitters and I was meant to meet a quarter of an hour ago, hour ago. So I'm going to go find Urban Outfitters now. I just went to go and get some things for the water pipe that I'm having tomorrow with some friends. So I went to the Interscreener and I got a water pistol and then the bunch of balloons which basically self-tie. So that would be really handy. I got 200 of those and I also got these things called booger bowl. <laughs> they sound very strange but I'm going to bring them when we go glamping. They might be good fun. I was going to get the really big pack which is £5. But I got them off for two pounds because I wasn't sure how they would go. So, yes. And I'm meeting my mum and sister in Pullenbear, which is by Urban Outfitters, but I can't remember where either of them are. We'll just have to hope that I find them soon. And now Martha and I have finished shopping. It's seven. It's seven. Yeah. Oh gosh, it's seven. And we're walking to a hacker, which is just here, to meet our parents for dinner. Yes, we are. So I bought this t-shirt from Pull and Bear, which is a short sleeved red and white red and white striped top with all these papayas on it. And then I bought these jeans from New Look. So then from Urban Outfitters, I bought this hat and I had the same hat in blue, but I unfortunately lost it um, earlier this year and I have no idea where it's gone. So I got this one, it was originally £15, but I got it for £5 because it was in the sale. So then, um, from Pull and Bear again, I purchased this rucksack and I love this bag so much. It's such a gorgeous colour and the shape of it's really nice too, it's a really nice size. Then, from the White Company, I got this ginger scented candle, which smells amazing. And then I actually went to the entertainer um, to get some things for a water fight that I'm having tomorrow um, with some friends. So I bought two of these bunch of balloons. And then I bought my dad this um, water gun which is a Storm Blasters Typhoon Twister because he really wanted his own water gun. My sister and I each have one and he can never take part when we're squirting each other. So I bought him a water gun today and this was actually on sale. And then the last thing I got sounds very silly. It's something called Booger Balls, which sounds disgusting, I know. Um, but I thought that I could play this with my cousins because it might be a fun thing for us all to do. And this was only about two pounds, so I do want to try it. I want to see what it's like. It looks kind of disgusting, but we'll see. That's everything that I bought. Um, thank you for watching today's vlog. And I hope that you have a productive week.